Oh, well, oh, excuse me. Um, it's uh, 1630-ish, 5th of September. I'm up Lord's Hill, the top of the halfway up Lord's Hill, on the track on the left-hand side, which I presume goes through to maybe Sutton Vimy or Colston or that way anyway. So I haven't got down to the bit that I usually park. I've just they cut a piece of grass here at the side, so I just pulled beside the track. I will I show you. They've uh, cut into the side of the track. So um, this is the back of the van. If I go look the back of the van there, and we go around, that's where I came in. And that's uh, my view, look that way. Look that way. Bend here, just in over the hill. There's a crossroads. To the left of the crossroads, uh, sorry, to the right of the crossroads, there's a little park where I park, and you can see through that gap. Now, if you look through that gap, the gap beyond it is the gap I park in front, if that makes sense. And then to the right of that, I go down, there's another place further on down there. Well, I've got this one marked at Lord's Hill 1. When I get down, I should get down the other ones and mark them, but this is looking at this side. So it's a beautiful evening. Well afternoon really. A bit dark in the sky there, but that's all that'll be alright. And here we go and this is where we are. I still do like my tires though. So um not much been going on. Just been uh, talking to my mate. He like to go See about work, she had a bit of an accident at work, and uh, we're gonna see if she's gonna go back to work. And chatting to her on the phone, all that seems to be going well. Um, yeah, and it's uh, basically nothing much has happened really. I'm gonna mooch about today, not been far really. Come down from Stonehenge down, and there was a really nasty accident at Hate Spree, and I finished up going through the village. Um, but that was fine. Of course, this Tom Tom I got, I'm not sure. You know, I've got to pay for these updates for what comes, but um, I think it's like like a live traffic thing, which is it's, it's worked out with me two or three times. It's been really really handy. But like I say, parked parked here. I haven't even I haven't even swung my seat round. I've been sat talking to her for about. But um, but she got on at her meeting this morning, this afternoon, whenever. So I've done that, and there's me, uh, this is what my view's going to be tonight, out across the fields. I tell you, it's a hard life, but you just haven't got a weekend. They're beautiful. All the colours of the fields and the sun and what have you going on. Anyway, peeps, um, don't forget, leave a like if you like it, leave a don't like if you don't like it. Um, you can subscribe, it's not very exciting lately, but you can still subscribe. <laughs> um, I don't know where I'm gonna go, I need, I need to go somewhere, don't I? I need to go somewhere and do something, but I can't think much to say, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, I seen a bloke today with a van, and he was an uh, English guy, and uh, he had a load of bloody monkeys to um, go long leap. And uh, he broke down in Aitsbury, well, aside the road, and uh, this chap come up and in this empty van, this Irish guy, and he said, hey, mate, he said, if I give you 50 quid, he said, will you take these monkeys to the, to long leap for me? He went, no, he said, to be sure, to be sure. Anyway, so anyway, so he loads of monkeys in the back of this van, and off he goes. So anyway, once the traffic had cleared, and about an oh, hour and a half later, he's bloody just leaving the traffic by Aitsbury, and the van's coming back the other way. And he flagged the bloke down, and he said, oh, he said, um, he said, did you take them money, he said, did you take them monkeys to Longleat, like I asked you to? And he went, yes, he said, and um, he said, there's some money left over, he said, so we're all off to the cinema now. If I could believe that, you'd believe anything. 
Anyway, that's boy. <laughs> that's boy the boy. So anyway, I'll speak to you all later. You look after each other. Remember, stay classy, no fighting. Bye bye.